All right, got the trailer all loaded up, full of sand, full of pulling cement, full of color. We're headed to Round Rock. Alright, we're out here in Round Rock, Texas, gonna lay down a hundred feet of mocha smooth concrete curbing. I got a flower bed right here that he's wanting to get done. We're gonna do this tree ring right here. We're gonna work around this flower bed. A couple more over there, that one right there. And right there in the corner. Delamar getting all set up. Our mixes are going to be seven buckets of sand mixed with one bag of Portland. Today we're doing a more mocha color to match the darker accents of this house. So yeah, we're going to get started. So I walk over to the neighbor's house and I realize we've done this curbing before. Next door. This is a job we did probably two years ago and I saw that he had some he had broken up the curb coming from this flower bed, brought it over to this flower bed. I was working on trying to, you know, connect the two. So we're gonna go ahead and offer it in for free. We're gonna go ahead and tie in right there, bring it all the way around and just complete this flower bed. And while it won't be the same color as the existing curbing that's over there, um, it will look much better. Told him he's a past client, so we're not gonna charge him for that. We're just gonna take care of him. I think fill it back in right there. We'll just notch out just the edge right here. Mm -hmm. I'm good with that. Sounds good. Sounds a little too good.
this stuff sets up. I'd give it three days before you add any mulch or anything like that. Um, or make sure your sprinkler systems are off. Yeah. Make sure that's off now. Yeah, and then we usually say about three days just to be safe. Yeah. With this heat being almost 100 degrees today, it'll uh, probably be good by the end of the day, but just to be safe. Yeah. That wind is blowing directly at us from those storm clouds. We need to get the plastic ready. Yeah. yeah, we're about to get dumped on is what I think. Mine says 1%. Oh man. It says it's supposed to die out right around the time it gets here. My phone says 86% chance at 12. And it says 90% chance at 2. 12 o'clock, Round Rock, Texas. 1% chance. Round Rock, Texas. 49% chance. This is the Weather Channel. Hey, shout out to Weather Channel for screwing <laughs> us over on our curb jobs. You already have a load ready, right? That'll be good for 20 minutes in the mixer minimum. Let me finish trialing this. We'll get crack joints in it. Um, we'll get it all done. 
We'll get rolled. I'll start, I'll start cutting the slag. No, let's start. Okay, we can cut slag. We got probably 10 minutes until that rain hits us. So let's focus on getting the plastic out and getting this stuff covered up. That can wait for just a second for me to trial it. You got a knife? Yeah, it didn't miss us. Hopefully this set up enough right here will be good. But if this keeps up for another 45 minutes, which I don't think it will, then enough water will pool on the back side of these parts and drain down in and soak into the curb. You get some color splotches. All our curb covered. Now we're hanging out in the rain. I've always said it my whole life. If I had to pick any career and start over in life, I'd pick a weatherman. Because it's the only job you get to be wrong all the time and still get to keep your job. Yeah, got everything covered up. This one's gonna be iffy. We may have to tear this out. Let's look at it. Now the rain's slowing down. See those speckles all over it? The question is if we can trial that out. We did not get plastic on this fast enough. We're good on that side, but this is the one where I don't think, I don't think we got it on fast enough. We're gonna see, I already got the joints rolled on it. We should've just covered it up right when we saw the storm clouds brewing. Mm. Well, blue skies now. So here in about 10 minutes, hold off to start working on it. Got a load ready in the mixer. We'll start on this flower bed over here and then move over to the tree ring. Hopefully be finished up here pretty quick. If it wasn't for this rainstorm, we'd probably almost be close to done by now. But it's one of those things.
we got all the curb down. I'm just gonna go around, pick up all the slag, clean up around the edges, clean up on the back side a bit, uh, wash down our machines, clean off the drive right here. We got some got some color on the driveway. Nothing that won't wash off. Um, yeah, it's a good job. Got a little rain delay, but hey, dropped the weather about 10 degrees for about 20 minutes, so that was nice. Back in the 90s with 90% humidity. Are you hot, Lamar? Nope. Because we're from Texas and we're used to this. Well, we're back from the curb job. Time to take care of our chores. One of those chores. Taking care of these fatties. Hi, pigs. Hi, pigs. What are you doing? What are you doing, mama? What are you doing? Very friendly. Very friendly. They got out. They've never been out before, so this ought to be interesting. Unless I could just sneak up and grab them. Come here. <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna go grab the next one. There you are. So all I was trying to do is give you some water. They're back. They're drinking their water. They're happy pigs. Let's get this mixer cleaned out. I'm tired. Same process every time we get home from a job. You know all this concrete in here that we've sprayed out. Right now it's just the excess. We can't dump this in the street on the jobs. So I bring it out here to the property and this is our washout spot. It's gonna get a little loud. <laughs> <laughs> 